present right into it. There are two basic types of errors. Those have no effect on the trial balance and those which unbalance the trial balance. The first type, those having no effect on the trial balance, the, the, the error is not revealed by the trial balance. When they occur, the trial balance still balances. There are six kinds of this type. Next, those which are balanced, the trial balance, when these occur, the trial balance becomes um, unbalanced. This means the totals are unequal. These are three kinds. All right, so we have the six types of errors here that don't affect the trial balance. In other words, the trial balance will still balance and these six types will occur. Errors of omission, errors of commission, errors of principle, compensating errors, errors of original entry, and complete reversal of entries. Okay, I'll quickly run through this so we could get into the real thing. Then you have the other three types of errors which unbalances the trial balance the single entry, unequal entry, and adding errors. Okay. Uh, we have examples of each here, but these three are the ones that would require a suspense account. Okay, these other six here do not require a suspense account. They could be corrected by a journal entry. Uh, the problem we are going to work here. This has both types of errors and um, we will see how we are correcting them, okay? So we have the trial balance extracted from the book of K. Bura Singh and we have his balances here. Debit credit, if you notice here, the trial balance does not agree. It is unbalanced. Right, but the thing with this trial balance is that it has both types of errors. They have the first six type kinds as well as the next three kinds. So some of them will be corrected with a journal entry and some of them can be corrected with the suspense account. Now you have to know which one is which, okay? So we look at the trial balance, we see the debit side is 10507. And the credit side is 98.412. The difference is 2095, right? Now, since the credit side is smaller, uh, it should be there for the suspense account will have a credit balance of 2095. So, okay, so we need to put in 2095 on this side to make it balance. Right? Okay, we have the suspense account here. I put in the 2095. Okay, on the correct side. Right, now let's go through the errors that we are given. The six of them errors are taken place. The trial balance does not balance on an investigation. The following errors were discovered. Right, a credit sale for Briggs of 68 have been omitted completely from the books. Okay, so this here gives us the hint what type of error this is. This is an error of omission and uh, it does not unbalance the trial balance. So two accounts are affected there. And one is Briggs, we will have to put Briggs in for 68, for the 68 he is owing us and put it in the sales account of 68. Okay, so that's a journal entry there. No narrations are required, right? Record the journal entries to correct each of the errors. Narrations are not required. Eight marks. Okay, so the trial balance does not balance on investigation. The following errors are 
discovered. A credit sale to Briggs for 68 have been omitted completely from the books. So it's an error of omission. This would not unbalance the trial balance, so we do not use the suspense account for it. So we will put it in, in Briggs account where it is missing and put it in the sales account where it is missing. Okay, the next item, a purchase of 160 from Simmons was entered in Simmons account, but omitted from the purchases account. So we need to put it in the purchases account, but it already entered in Simmons account, so we cannot put it there. So we have to use the suspense account. This is an example of single entry. But I enter it in one account only. So what we have to do is enter it in the other account where it was missing from and correct it with the suspense account because we can't put it again in, in Simon's account, otherwise it will be there twice, right? So we debit purchases where it is missing and we credit suspense account to 160. All right, next we have a credit, lead, a credit sale to Lee Chin for 129 was entered in the books as 120. Okay, so this is an error of original entry. The original figures are incorrect. So it should have been 129 and we entered 120, nine less. So we need to just put in nine more. All right, and you don't need to use the suspense account for that. The two accounts involved, it would be Lee and its sales, right? So Lee Chin, nine, sales, nine. No need for the suspense account for that, right? So drawings of 100 were recorded as 1,000 again. The original figure is the same as this error up here. The original figure is incorrect. That's one of your six types. And um, you just need to put in the difference. The difference is 900. So um, it, 900. Okay, so we have to take 900 out of the drawings account. We'll credit it. And we have to put it in the suspense as 900 on the debit side. A receipt from Macbeth of 1500 being bad debts recovered was entered in the cash book, but not credited in any account. All right, so for this, you have to know how um, debtors operate. You have to credit the debtors when they pay. And you wouldn't have any place to enter it because they say it's already entered in the cash book. So you have to enter it in the suspense account of 1500. An invoice of 145 from S. Harichan was credited in error to both S. Harichan and S. Hamilton. So both of them were credited. So that is like single entry anyway. Okay, although you're using some in his account and some in his account, it's still credited only. So it's single entry and that would take the suspense account. All right, we need to remove it from Hamilton account only. We could leave it in Harry Charan account. Okay, so we debit Hamilton and we credit suspense 145. Right, next we ask, these are all the uh, entries that we require, six of them for six uh, errors. Required, B, open the suspense account and enter the difference in the trial balance, post the relevant entries and close the account. Okay, so we go to the suspense account and we had uh, the balance, the difference on the trial balance of 2095. And we come here to the journals and we see which ones affect the suspense account. Here we have a credit for 160. All right, so we put in 
160, the opposite side went to the purchases. Right? Let me come to the next one. Is here. It's a debit for 900. And the next side went to the drawings. So we put in a debit for 900 and drawings and the details fill up. Okay. Come back to the suspense account. And the next one is Macbeth 1500. So we come to the suspense account and we put in the 1500. And finally, we have uh, the letters, uh, Sam's Hamilton, 145. We have a credit for 145 in the suspense account. We have 145 in the suspense account here. Okay, we do have any more journal entries to post. So we, and we add both sides, we'll notice that the totals are equal. So have them here. And uh, that brings us to the end of the suspense account, right? This will close off the suspense account. We have eliminated the errors. Okay. So the next part of the question says we draft the corrected trial balance. Now we'll see what happens with the other entries like these. Okay. So we come back to the trial balance and we have uh, we have changes. We have to put the changes in. The suspense account, as we saw, have been eliminated. So when we put in the other changes in debtors, we have Briggs 68, Leachin 9, and, uh, and then we have a credit for 1500. So we'll come to debtors here. Uh, we take the balance of 4380. We add the 68, we add the 9, and we minus the 1500, we get 29.57. Okay. Next one we have is sales for 68. And we check for any other sales for nine. No more sales. So we come to sales. We take the 66,190. We add on the 68, it's credited. And we add on the nine that two is credited. We get six to six two seven two sixty seven. Okay, so this is the figure that will go in a new trial balance. Next item we have is purchases for one sixty. So we come to purchases here, and uh, we have three three two not five, and a debit of one sixty will increase it. So we add it on. We get three 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 six five. This is the new figure for new trial balance. Um, we did that already. We did sales already. Drawings. Drawings four four five zero here, and we have the minus nine hundred because this is a debit, and this is a credit, right? So we minus 900 and we get 3650. This is the new figure for your new trial balance. And we already took care of this. Hamilton, he's a creditor, 145. Creditors, take the 6122 and we, this is a, this is a credit and this is a debit. So we minus it. And uh, we get fifty nine seventy seven. Now we will go and put these figures in the trial balance together with the remaining figures that didn't change. Okay, and you'll get some letters here. Yeah, capital notice drawings three six fifty. Right, we get that from here three six fifty. Right, 
on stock that didn't change, that remain the same. So we have stock letters, 4380, 2957, they change. We get it from here, right? And we do the same with all the figures. Creditors, they change the, that. General expenses, sales, purchases. Right now, and when we add them, the total should agree because we took care to correct the difference of 2095 that we had on when we unbalance it. So that's how you approach. This is a kind of comprehensive example, right? Um, it shows you how to correct the six types of errors. You only use the journal entries and then you change the accounts in the trial balance. From there, with the accounts 